Hey, little kitty, may I know which is your favorite animal? Oh, I'm not sure if we can count them as real animals. Hmm, of course, dragons feel. Well, that's a topic of debate, and you know what? That's also the topic of today's episode. So, let us look into the mythology of these mystical creatures by answering a mysterious question. Did dragons ever exist? Zoom in! I'm sure there aren't any magical creatures more popular than the fire-breathing, bat-winged, ferocious dragons. These tales have been widespread in many cultures since ancient times, and even today, we can see their depictions in movies like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, and many Disney films. So, no wonder all these portrayals make us ponder on the truth about their existence. Well, to cut the story short, so far, we haven't found any evidence of real dragons that lived in dark caves or dense forests. Instead, the only place they seem to exist is in our minds due to the legends and stories we have been hearing from our ancestors, of which the European and Chinese are the most popular ones that illustrate these creatures a bit differently. Yes, the European dragon tends to be a reptilian creature that could breathe fire and had lizard-like legs, wolf-like bodies, horns and bat-like wings that helps them fly. While the Chinese version of dragons has long serpentine bodies or elongated necks, pretty much snake-like with no wings. Though there is some visual difference in the western and eastern appearance of dragons, it is still quite baffling to think how different cultures located so far away from each other portray a creature with so many other similarities. Does that mean dragons could have actually existed? Well, experts believe that these legends would have emerged due to the real dragon-like creatures that once lived on Earth. Yes, there are chances that the ancient people may have come across the bones of giant dinosaurs and thought of them as dragons. Or even the giant Nile crocodile, who would have swam all the way to the shores of Europe, might have inspired the creation of dragons. Or best, the giant snakes may have illuminated the imagination of people to make fictional stories around them. But one theory states that it's not curious minds, but the fearful ones that could have created these mystical creatures. Yes, anthropologist David E. Jones suggests that the primal fear of predators such as big cats, wolves, snakes and eagles generated the dragon myth. According to him, the primal fear could have been passed along to humans through evolution. Even today, studies of vervet monkeys reveal that they are especially terrified of these particular predators, namely lions, eagles and snakes, and make specific cries whenever they spot these predators. So, it's not hard to imagine our fearful ancestors merging the body of a snake with something as fierce as a lion, adding on the capacity to fly like an eagle, to get a dragon, and passing this image through storytelling. So in conclusion, dragons are nothing but a figment of our imagination and fears which will continue to mesmerize people for centuries to come. Trivia time! Did you know the word dragon comes from the ancient Greek word 
Draconta, which means to watch. Yes, the name suggests dragons are often associated with great treasures that they guard against treasure hunters. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. See, dragons exist. <laughs> Never mind.